Hey everybody, this is Dave Bensman from Bensman Home Computer Repair, and today I'd like to talk about surge protectors. Surge protectors are very important to have because they can help protect your computer and other electronic equipment uh, from surges that are on your electrical line. The first thing to uh, understand is that there is a difference between a surge protector and a power strip. Uh, this is a power strip. Now it looks somewhat similar to a surge protector of the same form factor, but the difference is, is that a power strip really only gives you the ability to plug multiple electronic devices into one wall outlet. A surge protector has electronic components inside of it which divert any current which is in excess of what your electronic gear needs to a ground wire, thus preserving the safety of your equipment. Something to keep in mind about surge protectors is that they do have a lifespan and the indicator of how long a given surge protector will last is measured in joules. Uh, the more the better. So if a uh, surge protector has, let's say this has a 600 joule rating right here, um, that is that means it will last a given amount of time. It will take one large surge or several smaller surges uh, to before it its uh, internal components are not actually protecting your computer anymore. Whereas this guy right here has a rating of 4,320 joules. So it's going to be able to take a lot more uh, spikes than the other one. And of course, it's probably going to be more expensive. That's 35 bucks. Yeah, and that's 15. So that is definitely something to keep in mind is the longevity of your surge protector. Just uh, you want as, as high a joules as you can afford. Another thing to uh, check out any surge protector that you're thinking of buying for is its clamping voltage. Uh, the clamping voltage, basically, uh, you have these internal components in your surge protector and they're diverting current to uh, excess current to the ground line. Uh, and the clamping voltage determines at what point does the surge protector begin diverting energy, current, electricity, to that ground line uh, and what you want is the lower the better uh, so this one uh, does not even list this cheap uh, uh, Best Buy surge protector does not even list what the clamping voltage is uh, this Belkin right here is at 330 which is the lowest of UL certified uh, clamping voltages so that means that uh, when you're when the excess current hits 330 volts, that's when the uh, circuitry inside the surge protector begins diverting the current. So the lower the clamping voltage, the less exposed your uh, electronic equipment is to a surge. Now, one thing you can uh, see about this guy right here is that it has these four plugs that are spaced pretty close together. Those would be great for things that with smaller plugs. Then it has these plugs right here, which are more widely spaced, because a lot of times we have those big chunky plugs that we uh, get nowadays with uh, some printers, uh, some uh, uh, gateways, uh, and you you really need a, at least some of your plugs to be spaced apart. The other thing that you can see right here are these gold uh, cables right here, and that's for coax because you can also get a surge or a spike through coax or through your phone line. So if you've got a if you're using something for a fax or you you're using coax cable, you may want to look for a surge protector that has that capability so that you can use that. Now, one thing you do want to keep in mind is that your uh, surge protector is designed to protect you against power surges. So that's your air conditioning going on and your lights dimming, you know, things like that. Um, your refrigerator going on and, and, and altering the current slightly uh, for, you know, 10, 15, 30 minutes. That's what your surge protector is designed to protect your uh, your computer against because your computer really needs uh, a very specific voltage in, in order to run 
properly. It has a power supply inside of it, which uh, steps down the wall current uh, from 120 volts to uh, both 5 and uh, 12 volts and that's what it really needs to run and any variation in that shortens the lifespan of your power supply. Your surge protector is there to smooth everything out. Now what your surge protector cannot do is protect you against a spike of a sufficient strength. So if you have a lightning strike say on a transformer that you are uh, living sufficiently close to there is no surge protector that will protect you. Um, it's just lightning is very 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 strong and there's no surge protector that's going to protect you against every single lightning strike that is going to divert current excess current into your home's electrical system. So that's just something to keep in mind if there's a really gnarly thunderstorm and it's right over your house, you know, it doesn't hurt to turn off the computer properly and then unplug the computer. That uh, can save you a lot of headaches. I wouldn't just do it for any old thunderstorm, but if it's particularly bad and it's right over you and it doesn't show any signs of moving anytime soon sometimes thunderstorms do not I might uh, I might do that there's one other feature that some power supplies have that you want to uh, keep in mind and that is some power supplies will have one of the um, plugs will be listed as master or something like that and then the other plugs will be linked to that and so what will happen is some people will plug a computer into this one and then they'll plug a printer and a scanner uh, and maybe their modem into this one and when they turn the computer off the printer and the scanner and the modem also turn off because that's how it's designed so I'm, I'm not really a big fan of uh, things like that um, so you probably want to avoid that and just get a really strong surge protector that just has general plugs um, you can also get something called an uninterruptible power supply an uninterruptible power supply is a surge protector with a battery in it and some of the plugs are designed so that when your power goes out those plugs automatically draw energy from the battery and power whatever's plugged into it for a period of time it just depends on what you've got plugged into it and what that thing's power draw is as to how long it will be but in general a monitor and a computer it'll generally power that for 10 or 15 minutes uh, and enabling you enough time giving you enough time to turn it off safely I hope everybody found this video helpful if so please like and share it and please subscribe to my channel and if anybody's in the Memphis Germantown Collierville Cordova Bartlett uh, area and you need in-home computer repair please feel free to give me Dave Bensman a ring at Bensman Home Computer Repair at 901-830-4362 and as always stay safe